Hey, this is Elijah with the Oxygen team, and in this video, we're gonna be creating a flyout search modal just like this. This is incredibly easy to build in Oxygen, but it also presents a couple of interesting opportunities that I think will end up being educational. Let's go ahead and jump in and get started with building this. Now I'm just using our Hyperion design set here and this is gonna be kind of my baseline. I have a header with a logo and some text and a menu and then a right section here which is where I wanna put my little search box. So our search box is really simple. It's just gonna be a div, so we'll add a div and it's gonna have an icon in it. This is not actually a real search box. It just kind of looks like it. So we just need to make it look convincing and then do something interesting when we click it. So we're gonna use this little magnifying glass icon here and let's pick a kind of a light color like that. And then the div itself, let's set the size and spacing to, we might be able to do 100% here. That might be a bit too big, but we'll mess with that in a minute. Let's uh, reduce the icon size of this here. Magnifying glass and do 22 pixels. That looks pretty good. And then on the div, we're just gonna do some uh, size and spacing adjustments on the padding. We'll do eight top and bottom, and then maybe the same. Well, I guess we need eight on all sides, so that made it easy. Um, now we can style this up a bit. We're gonna go to the background. And we don't want the same color as our icon, obviously, but we don't want white. So something like that will look pretty good. And then we're gonna add a border radius to it. So let's do eight pixels. And then let's make sure it's centered vertically within this container so that lines up with everything else. And I think it's a bit wide. So what I'm gonna do is change the width to something like 75% and then center it uh, horizontally here. That looks pretty good. Now the final thing we need to do actually on this element is we need some custom CSS. We're gonna do cursor text. And that's gonna give us our little text editing cursor when we hover over that, which will make it seem like we're getting ready to click in it and type a search term. Um, we might also wanna add some text like search here. And then we'll want to lay out the child elements horizontally here, uh, change the text color to probably the same as what we used for the uh, icon or maybe a tad bit darker, and then add some right margin to the icon. So advanced size and spacing, and we'll add eight pixels. So now that's a pretty good looking little search box but the magic happens with the modal we're gonna add. So when we click this, we want a modal to show up, which gives us a real search box and some options. So let's save this and then let's drop in a modal. Perfect, now we just need to make some adjustments to the modal styles to make it kind of fit what we want. Let's go to content styles, make sure it's set to layout child elements vertically. And then we're just gonna center everything to get that kind of centered search effect. And then go back here and go to modal styles. We're gonna set it to 100% width and then align it to the top because we want it to kind of slide in from the top of the screen when we click our search box. And let's lighten up that backdrop a bit. It seems a little oppressive right now. So 20% opacity, good. And that's pretty much the structure that we need. Now we need to populate this modal. So let's add some text. This is gonna be our little search headline. Let's add a text link, which is gonna be kind of a go back to the site, which will actually close the modal. And then let's add our search form, which we're gonna to have to style up quite a bit. And then let's add another little heading and then some text links, okay? So let's drop that in. And now that we have everything in there that we wanna have in there, we can start making it uh, look how we want it to. So we'll say search our site. This is gonna be uh, kind of a heading, so we'll do like 32 pixels. And we'll say, or go back to browsing. And this is a link, so we're going to make sure it does something when you click it, but let's change the text color to 
something like that. That looks nice. And then we need to make it close the modal when you click it. So we add the oxy dash close dash modal class, and that'll do that for us. Now we need to add some margin below this, but not on the class. So size and spacing margin, I don't know, 16 pixels. And then below the search box, we're gonna need to add some margin too, but first let's get everything styled up. Let's actually set the background color to the same color we used on the fake search box for the button there. And then text color can stay black. And then we're gonna add a little bit of a border back to this. Maybe we'll use that. And then let's add a border radius of eight pixels to make everything nice and rounded, kind of like our fake search box is. And that looks pretty good. So let's go ahead and move on to adding some margin below that. So let's do 32 pixels here to get a little more space. And this is gonna say, or try these popular search terms. Actually, that's a bit wordy. Let's just say popular search terms. Great, and then we'll just come up with some fake ideas here like sandwich, taco, hot dog, and meatloaf. Now with these, I want them all to be pink like this, but instead of adjusting all my link colors manually, I'm gonna use global styles. So let's go to manage settings, global styles, links, all, and let's just change that color to the color we want those to be. Perfect. Now let's just tweak this heading a little bit. I forgot to change its size. I want it to be a little bit bigger than default and then add some spacing below it. And now on the modal itself, let's add some padding on the top and bottom. Now this is about what I want. It could obviously be a little fancier, but we don't wanna spend a ton of time on the design because it's more the functionality we're focused on here. So the main thing that I want to have happen when you click this fake search box is I want the modal to come up and I want you to be able to go ahead and start typing to search. That's kind of our uh, little JavaScript magic we're gonna do. But to make this uh, search box trigger the modal on click, we're gonna need to grab its ID and then go over to the modal, go to trigger and choose user clicks element. And then we can paste in the ID, but if you didn't happen to grab the ID, you also could just click choose and then click on your element. And it'll do the same thing there. So now if we click on our search box, the modal's gonna pop up. Let's take a look on the front end. Perfect. Well, not quite, but it's doing what we want it to do. Let's uh, select the modal and go to advanced effects animate on scroll. And we're gonna make this slide in from the top. So slide down and that'll look a lot better. Let's go take a look at that. Yep, that looks much better. Okay, so now we need, once we have clicked this, because the expectation of the user is that they're gonna click that and type, we wanna maintain that expectation. So what we need to do is we need to add a code block. So let's drop the code block. It doesn't really matter much where it is, and let's just get rid of our PHP and HTML. We don't need any of that. In fact, we only need just a couple of lines of JavaScript. Uh, so we're gonna set up a JavaScript function here called focus search. And that's gonna be function get focus. And then within that function, we're going to set a timeout. This is required because if we try to shift focus before the modal's loaded, it just doesn't work for some reason. So I found that I had to use a timeout to get this to work properly. Function, open curly brace. Go ahead and close my curly brace. We're gonna do a 100 millisecond timeout because this really is just to get around the fact that it doesn't work if you fire it instantly. And then within this function, what we're gonna do is document.get element by ID, and the ID of that search input is S by default in oxygen, and then we're gonna run the focus function there, and that will cause it to take focus. So now we've got this set up, focus search. Now we can do something a little bit different. Normally in oxygen, you would just write your JavaScript um, so that 
you're adding an event listener to the element that you want to have fire the function on click. But we're going to do this a little bit differently just to explore uh, another possibility within Oxygen. So this is focus search. This is uh, a variable that's actually a function that we want to have fired when this element is clicked. So what we can do is we can select the element, go to advanced attributes, add an on click attribute and tell it we want to fire focus search. Okay, so let's click that and hop up to the front end and see how that works. So we're on the site, we want to click here to search. And when we click it, we can immediately start typing and then press enter to search. So that accomplishes pretty much everything we want. We can click go back to browsing to close the modal. But there's one final thing. We have these popular search terms, which these could be dynamically populated, but that would require a bit more time. So since these are hard coded, we can go ahead and click on one of these. And we're just gonna set the URL to a relative URL of slash question mark S equals, and then our search terms. So this is sandwich. We'll just copy and paste that across. Change sandwich to taco. Then the same here hot dog, then the same here, meatloaf. And so that'll just go ahead and perform a normal WordPress search whenever that's clicked. So let's jump up to the front end and let's go ahead and test our search. So let's say we're looking for meatloaf. Let's click the search box and type meatloaf. See the focus just changed and hit enter. Absolutely no friction. It just instantly works how you'd expect it to. And as you can see, meatloaf is in the results. Now, if we click one of these suggested search terms, we should also get the relevant posts. So let's search for sandwich. And that's gonna do the same exact thing that happens when you type in a search term and hit enter, except for we're just passing this special search URL. So we can also go hot dog, whatever else we can search for uh, taco, hit enter. So this works really beautifully and gives you a nice way to have a really nicely stylized search box that represents a functionality, but kind of redirects folks to this modal once they've clicked it. Again, this is Elijah with the Oxygen team, and that's how to set up a search modal on your Oxygen website that's triggered by an imitation search box. Thank you very much for watching.